Hi everyone, this is an update with the PCB progress. As you can see I've got a new PCB here since my last video. In fact since my last video there's actually been two new versions. This is the third PCB designed since the last video and in total it's the ninth design of the PCB from scratch. From the start should I say. Um, so you've got one here. It's slightly bigger than the previous PCBs by a centimetre on its width. That's to account for the um, fuse holder, the reverse polarity protection and the rocker switch. On the previous PCBs, if I grab one, there was um, none of that circuitry. All we had was just a connector for the barrel plug. But now I've added some protection just to make sure that the users, um, if a user plugs in their power supply backwards, it doesn't damage the circuitry because a lot of these components aren't reverse polarity tolerant. Um, as I said, I've put a fuse in there as well, so if one of the motors shorts out, or one of your components shorts out, then hopefully the fuse should blow, notifying you that something has gone wrong before it's too late. As you can see, I've set up one of the PCBs here. This is just going to be a quick video, I'm not going to go into all the detail of the hydro controller features, as I'd hope you've seen my previous videos where I cover that. Um, as you can see, it's already plugged in and wired up, so if I just turn it on, I see it's starting up straight away. Um, this LED is just temporary, they're actually coming in a few days, so I have some uh, PCB mounted OSRAM Opto RGB LEDs, which I think, <laughs> I had it with me just a second ago, there it is. Essentially something like that. This is just a little test for one that I made myself. But um, yeah, this will essentially allow it to be, it is still external of the PCB because this is actually made to click into the plastic casing and sit in the top corner. The case hasn't been designed yet. That would be something I'll do in the future. I haven't actually got any experience with um, 3D printing or plastic molding. So if any of you are watching and have more experience or even better, have a 3D printer yourself. Um, I'd love to speak to you and try and get a, a prototype case made for this controller. Um, so what to go over? As you can see, the display is turned off. That's just a screensaver. Let's turn it back on. Um, yeah, everything's working great. I suppose all you want to know is if you can buy one. I put up an eBay listing yesterday, but as I'd noted in some of the comments in my previous video, I hadn't actually used my eBay store in a couple of years and I put up a listing yesterday and eBay says I need to contact them to discuss my selling plans, as it were, before I can make any listings on my store. So that was a bit of a bummer. But until I set up that store, they still are for sale, but you just have to come to me directly. Um, I managed to source some of the parts a bit cheaper. So in my previous videos, I noted it was... Seventy pounds for the core parts. The core parts being everything but these plug-in third-party boards, the nanos, the sensor boards. Um, that's about it, really. So I've actually managed to get the core parts cost down to forty-five pounds, and I'm willing to sell more PCBs to cover my production costs. So the cost of creating the previous boards for development, paying off the engineers, all the parts that were used in the previous test boards that all had to be thrown away. You can't SMD off every, all these parts and there have to be some of them break in the process. Um, so yeah, you can buy a bare PCB off me if you wanted to solder all the parts on yourself. I'd sell that to you for £45. Or you can buy a PCB with just the core components on, so all the male and female headers, um, the micro MOSFETs, um, the buzzers, the opto relays, the um, mounting holder for the MCP4151, um, yep, the tr MOSFETs and all the resistors, all the fuse holder parts, reverse fire detection, rocker switches, essentially all the core components comes to, as I said, £45 plus £45 that I chose for the PCB and an if you want me to solder all of them, it does actually take a minute. It takes 
about at least three hours. So I'd want to in total charge a hundred and twenty pounds. So that's forty five, forty five, plus thirty for labour. So ten pounds an hour for soldering. So yeah, hundred and twenty if you wanted a PC with the core components on there. And if you wanted a PCB as seen right here, then that is if I shut open up Excel, I believe it's about three hundred and ninety four pounds just for the plug in components. That's not me making any markup, it's just expensive for all the sensor boards, for the Arduinos, for the display, the power supplies. Um here we go, let's open up the bit of materials. This is completely transparent on the cost of parts here. I'm not trying to make any additional markups. One sec, I'm just maximizing it. So if you go down here, this is where my inventory list is. So that's £42. That's out with it without any handling charges. So it's probably more realistically going to be closer to 50 And the price of the third party components. So we've got the megas, we've got the ITCs, the RGBODs, the distance sensors, the PH and TDS sensors, and E-tape, the ESP, the MCP4151, the CO2 sensors, the DHT22, the DS18B20, six doser pumps, an eight channel relay board, the bi display 800 times 40 TFT display, a five volt switching supply, and a zero cross dual channel board. Is two hundred and eighty four pounds, so that's two hundred and eighty four pounds plus forty two pounds plus another forty five pounds plus labour. All in all I charge about four hundred and twenty pounds for a complete board and that's not much profit for myself. It's gonna take me at least about fifty boards to pay for just my initial research and development costs, which is a bit depressing. Um, so if any of you wanted to pay a little bit more, which I'm sure you don't, but you know, um, any contributions are welcome. Um, so yeah, there will be an eBay listing up later this week, but if you wanted to get one straight away, I can, um, I can do so. I have got one of the boards over there already, but that's already been sold to a customer. Sorry about the mess on my table, and. Um, I have basically all the parts to build at least a couple more boards and what parts I don't have um, such as the power switches which are actually £2.50 each I could get those within literally 24 to 48 hours maximum on a weekday um, the parts store is quite literally down the road for me so I'll just order next day delivery due to Covid they're not letting people come in for parts if they can be ordered online so I have no choice but to uh, just wait for the placement to come and where it's close to Christmas, there could be um, additional delays in postage, but quite literally it's down the road for me. So if I had to, I could um, somehow work out a, rain, a way to get them quicker. Anyway, so, yep, if you want a board, they can be manufactured immediately. Um, I have 18 left in stock, and when, the, when I start to run out, I'll just order some more. As I said, I've got the RGB LED boards coming within a day or two. And that means you won't have to use these cheaper um, LEDs. Not that I suppose any of you really care. And yeah, everything's working great. No issues whatsoever. Sensor isolation works beautifully. All the other components of the board work beautifully. Um, yeah, yeah. I'm really glad that I finally got to the point where I can actually start selling them. So as I said, if you want to get one of these boards, just send me a message in YouTube or send me an email I'll put my details in this video and I will make sure that I get my eBay listing up as soon as possible I'm sorry for chatting on a bit too much in this video um, you know what I'm like it's never the most organized of videos but I I hope you like what you see and again if you want one of these boards just contact me at any point cheers